The Omo Valley is a really unique place in Ethiopia. The tribal people are separated by geography and they're in a mountainous area. So because of that, very little of modern society has reached them. And that creates an opportunity for us to kind of go back in time. The tribes don't know when we're coming. We have no way to notify them. They don't have phones. So when you arrive and you see them decorated in these really interesting ways, not done for tourists, but only done for their own artistry or self-expression, it's quite remarkable. Their scarification techniques are really interesting and also the designs that they make are really beautiful. Sometimes they work together, a friend will draw uh, the pattern that they, they want to do on their body, then they'll take a razor blade and cut themselves, and it's painful. And then they'll take ash from a fire pit and stuff it into that wound, and then they'll let that heal. And oftentimes they will cut that same spot again in order to make the scar raised or higher. So they get these wonderful, symmetrical, perfectly smooth keloid scars all arranged in a pattern around the shoulders or the stomach. It's, 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 it's amazing. They don't get infected. They're very careful about that. They love razor blades because it allows them to make the kinds of incisions that they want to make and make the designs be really beautiful. There are several tribes that use lip plates as a form of beautification and artistry. The Mercy tribe is one of them. The lip plates are made by the women out of clay. Sometimes they paint them, they have designs on them, and then they dry them in the sun. When a girl reaches a certain age, usually puberty, the parents decide when it's her time to have the incision made below her lower lip to have the lip plate inserted, and this is done by a particular person within the village. The way that it starts out is they put a small piece of cork or even some hardened clay in there to begin to stretch the skin. And then gradually they put larger and larger ones in until the, the lip is large enough to accommodate the plate size that they want. Usually the larger the plate, the more valuable the woman is. And I have seen lip plates in excess of 16 inches. When the girl is ready to be married, the dowry that the groom must pay to the bride's family will be substantial if she has a lip plate. If she doesn't have the lip plate, there will be almost no dowry paid. So this is very important, and it's an important cultural tradition. They wear the lip plates often, although not always. They don't wear them when they're eating, of course. The Arbore are a small tribe whose women shave their heads until they are married. They wear multiple long beaded necklaces and black shawls over their heads, and they are really striking. The shaved head indicates virginity, and once they are married, then they begin to grow hair for the first time. The Hammer are a really large group that live in Turmi. The women wear goatskin skirts, that's traditional, and they color their hair in a very unique way. They take ochre from the soil. It's this red colored soil and they mix it with butter and that creates kind of a, it's like a thick paint. And then they cover their hair with it and they braid their hair meticulously so that their entire heads are covered with braids that are this rich red color. They leave it like that. They don't touch it because it will last for about six weeks. Braiding hair is a common pastime among women in the village. You will always see them doing it. They do it to one another. They help each other out. But anytime you see a woman with that kind of hair, you know that she is hammered.